Alright, welcome back. So, for those of you watching on YouTube, this is a number theory poem from the 2024 Frankenfone Olympiad. Um, so, I don't know what it is. Uh, N plus P... It's freaking minus signs. Why can't people just use ASCII for minus signs? Um, anyways, yeah, so this is true. Um, so, I'm gonna... I don't actually think I care very much about the small prime, so I'm gonna start by taking... Well, let M be the max AI. Um, and take P greater than M. Um, then this condition gives me that a n. So like, there's this long product, right? I don't really care about the product. So if I take the prime bigger than m, um, I have more terrible problems if we solve all of these early. I know you do. Um, <laughs> I'm Marvio. Um, like so, this is. Uh, hang on. Okay, so I'm, I, I just bump the index by one, right, to start, and then divide these two. And it's okay to divide because I pick the prime to be larger than the max of the AI. Uh, so what does that do? Um, so an plus p squared... over an. There are many such unbounded sequences. Um, yes, I, I agree. A n equals n is an example of a bounded sequence that satisfies it, as is any constant shift of that. Or really, any constant shift. Most constant multiples, I think, will also work. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't have the bounded condition, then you know, you can just scale you it. Know, but I think it's really different when it's bounded. Uh, if you show AI is periodic. Well, let's give it a shot. So I mean, from this, I already have that it's periodic modulo, or like th this gives me a, like some sort of effective recursion, right, on the A sub n. Um, Like, like it does technically it gives me a linear recursion if I take a generator mod p. I don't know if I want to do that. Periodic easily by considering primes. Am I... Why is that true? P of the p top... Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's periodic modulo P. Yes, yeah, so I don't even need the... Oh, okay. Because of the... Oh, no. I might need the... Mm. Um, wait, my concern is your bound on the period will is not bounded as a function of the prime, right? Like the sequence of positive integer, oh. Wait, what the heck? It's bounded too, wait a minute, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Uh. Wait, what? Yeah, sorry, you're, you're you're totally right. Okay, so I don't even need to do this. Just like claim um, the sequence is periodic 
modulo p because um, the residues modulo p of any p consecutive terms determine the rest. So I don't I don't even need to take the x. Yeah, just take take some prime p larger than m. The residues modulo p of any p consecutive terms determine the rest. Do I get a completely periodic or no? I actually get completely periodic too. What the heck? So it's periodic modulo p, but p greater than m. And so then what I can do is say let t be the period of the sequence. And so I did do this calculation here to get try to say something about the length of the period, right? So if I can get the Whatever the whatever the period of the sequence is, um, once I consider arbitrary p greater than m, we have this thing. So if I take a prime p, which is larger than the period, um, so let, let's actually say p is greater than max m t, um, then this thing, yeah, I think the problem might just die. Uh, if the prime p is large, it's What what if I take use Dirichlet? Okay, here here we are. What if I use Dirichlet to take p with one mod t? So it's possible I be Dirichlet. Then no. So because p is one mod t, this forces uh, it's like an plus one squared over an. I can't take p as zero mod t set. Or can I do minus one mod t? That might be even better, right? In particular, if you well, I can I can really get any residue mod t. But if I take p as one mod t, uh, mi minus one is a, probably best stronger to start. You get a n plus p squared. Okay, so we're gonna actually just take p to be much larger, like. Give it a factor of two, uh, then you get a n squared mod p. Again, because we can take indices modulo t. Oh, um, eh, whatever. I'm I don't I'm not opposed to just copy out with actually. So because, but since p is larger than 2m, we get a n is a n plus 1. So only constant sequences can work. And by Fermat's little theorem, they all work. We don't have a n plus p squared n plus for large p, do we not? I think this is fine, right? I think this is just okay. Eventually periodic modulo t. So one can work backwards too. It's actually periodic. Okay, cool, we did it. Fire. Um, uh, yeah, that that was I don't know. I think the bounded condition is way too strong, right? Like if you know the sequence is bounded, you know, you can do whatever you want. Um, and it, it's fine. Uh, all right, let me put the solution into my database. Um, 
well, yeah. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll put the dirge list up here. I don't know that. Is there any else thing for this problem where I can post the solution or no? leave it at that. Um, for those of you watching this on YouTube, thank you for tuning in, um, and we'll see you next time.